Okay, Kathy, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go to this link that I sent you in the email. It's called Dropbox. It basically is like a, a file that we can share between our computers. So it's just going to download to your laptop. So you go to Dropbox, click right here, download Dropbox, follow the instructions. Um, once you've got it downloaded, you can go back to the website, dropbox.com, All right, and you can log in. All right, so whatever email and uh, password you provided to them allows you to log in. And then this is how we're going to share stuff. What it does is it, it brings up all the folders. So you can see that I'm sharing um, a basketball folder, a, a DC activities folder. These are things I'm sharing with uh, another guy back in Republic. What Dropbox also does is it puts a, uh, it should put an icon on your desktop that if you double click that icon, uh, notice that it opens up the exact same things. There's basketball and DC activities. This is where I would actually um, put the stuff into and then it automatically syncs it with what's online. So I'm going to make um, a new folder in here for Antarctica. And then once you're signed up, I'm going to share this folder with you, and we'll both have access to it. So, Antarctica. So I made an Antarctica folder. And you can see the little arrow turned green. It'll be like this little blue symbol when it's, when it's working on something, and when it's done, uh, the arrow turns green. So I'm going to put some uh, stuff in that folder. All right, I'm going to put the videos that I uh, that I shot with the with the iPhone in that folder. All right, Kathy. So this is how you're going to um, upload your videos for us to use back at school. So just when you're there, just uh, shoot whatever you want. Kind of looks like Antarctica. And then I'll show you what to do from here. All right. So then the next thing you're going to do is uh, you plug your uh, cable into your computer for your iPhone and then you take the other end and plug it in to your iPhone. So whenever you plugged in your iPhone it should pop up under my com it should either pop up automatically if it doesn't that's okay the, just the easiest way to do it is to go to uh, my computer and your iPhone should be on there, right there. And you just want to go to its internal storage and then this folder and just keep going through the folders till it loads all the uh, photos and videos you've taken with your iPhone. And so I'm going to go all the way down. Let me make these bigger so you can see a little better. So I'm going to go all the way down. And here are the photos and videos that I just took um, of outside. Uh, me plugging the iPhone in and a picture that I took and so I'm going to take those and put them in the uh, in the Dropbox folder. There's a couple different ways to do it. Um, I'm going to open them both up at the same time. So I'm going to move uh, Dropbox over here. You can see there's the Antarctica folder so I want to put this video in there that I shot. You can see there it's loading it. And I'm going to put this video in there. And I'm going to put this video in there. Or that picture, sorry. That picture in there. So I've moved those into the Antarctic folder. And remember, whenever these little uh, blue icons are right there, that just means that they're they're loading. So just give them time till they turn to the green arrow. But now, basically, I've put them into the Antarctica folder. All right, so now all the little blue circles have turned green, which mean they're uploaded. The, the longer the video is, the longer it's going to take to upload. These videos weren't but a few um, seconds long, and they took a couple minutes to upload. So obviously, the, the longer you shoot, the longer it'll take to upload. So don't worry if it's, if it's taking it a while. It'll eventually get there. So now that they've all turned green, 
I can go back to my Dropbox if I log back in. I now have an Antarctica folder which is what I made on my desktop and if I click on it there's the one video two video plus the image so uh, once you once you get your Dropbox set up you need to let me know what your username is because then what I can do is I can uh, share this folder with you but I've got to put in your um, I've got to put in who you are and it'll send you a message and you can accept that and then anything that I put in there you have access to and anything you put in there I have access to and then what I will do is I will take the videos and I will get them uploaded and I'll do the same with the pictures the thing weird that I that iPhone does is sometimes when it um, shoots the video you play it's like sideways I'm not sure why that is um, I was just holding the phone normal direction. Maybe I need to turn it sideways and it'll shoot right side up. I have no clue. But it doesn't matter. Just shoot the video however you want because then what I can do is I can orientate it correctly. Um, by a, a program that I have, it'll switch its orientation. And so then I will just uh, I will save it correctly. in the correct uh, orientation. I can do the same with the photos. If the photo for some reason is turned sideways, I can orientate it the correct direction. So just upload them as is and I'll take care of everything from there. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, here is the original video I shot. Basically, I'm going to take that video, just let's just assume this is a video you've shot of in Antarctica of something, and I'm going to upload that to YouTube, and I will make it uh, unlisted, which means only people with the, with the link will be able to view it, so I'll make sure I send that to whoever wants to see it in the school. This way, just not anybody can search it. And and so uh, YouTube will upload it and there now the video is live so whatever you uh, choose to shoot there in uh, Antarctica we will all have access to and can do the same thing with your photos, I'll be able to show the photos to everybody.